Those people, they believe that uh, they, they need to Islamize and Arabize the entire Sudanese, regardless their uh, religion, regardless their, uh, their, their, their cultural background. Civil war over ideology and resources has driven instability in Sudan for decades. The Khartoum regime has killed over 2 million Sudanese people and over 4 million have been displaced. This month marks the one-year anniversary of South Sudan's birth as a country by implementation of the 2005 Comprehensive Peace Agreement in 2011. South Sudan now faces a refugee crisis from the continued genocide raging in border regions where multitudes of black African ethnic groups fight for their existence. South Sudanese activists joined Sudanese people and rallied in several major cities around the world, including Washington, D.C., on June 30th in support of the recent student anti-government protests in Khartoum that began in June. The message? Down with al-Bashir, stop the genocide in Sudan. The Center for Security Policy captured the hopes and frustrations of those giving a voice to the victims of Khartoum, past, present, and future. We lead uh, this demonstration all over the world. People are demonstrating, are rallying, and for one cause that Sudan regime must go, the uh, extremist and uh, terrorist Islamist regime in Khartoum must go. NCP to ICC! NCP to ICC! Bashir regime to ICC! Sudan regime must end right now! Sudan regime must end right now! I'm Hawa uh, Abdullah Muhammad, the representative of uh, IDPs and uh, refugees in Darfur. We are here today uh, to say the Sudan government must have to go to ICC. We are supporting the issue of freedoms. We are supporting the issue of the real justice in Sudan. The Sudan government must have to stop the killing among the students. In Darfur, the killing is still going on. Uh, my name is Komi Leisen. Uh, I'm from Nuba Mountain. I'm here today to ask the international community why they are quiet, even though there is a lot of killing in New Mountain and therefore on Blue Nile. They have to put a lot of pressure on the government of Sudan so they can stop killing, stop bombing civilians, they can allow humanitarian aid to go to these three areas. Stop genocide in Sudan! Stop genocide in Sudan! Stop genocide in Sudan! Stop genocide in Sudan! Stop genocide in Sudan. Uh, this is Gogadia Moga or Amin. I am the chairman of uh, the Sudanese marginalized forum in the United States. And this marginalized uh, forum, uh, the only organization that consists of the people of the two countries, with South Sudan and, and uh, the Republic of Sudan. <laughs> Al-Bashir must go. He said Sudan, after the decision of South Sudan, it will be an Islamic and Arabic country. Those people, they believe that uh, they, they need to Islamize and Arabize the entire Sudanese, regardless their uh, religion, regardless their, uh, their, their, their cultural background. The USA government itself, they have to protect the civilian in Sudan. The USA government have power to do this. International community and uh, U.S. government, they are not doing enough. People are dying. They have to put pressure on the Sudanese government so they can allow the humanitarian aid. As long as they are quiet, government are not going to listen to the Sudanese people. They need a superpower like United States and uh, Security Council. They put more pressure on the Sudanese government so they can allow the humanitarian aid to go to the mountain. know what needs to happen. The government of Sudan must stop its military actions, including aerial bombardments. It must give aid workers the access they need to save lives. And it must end its support for armed groups inside the South. Likewise, the government of South Sudan must end its support for armed groups inside Sudan, and it must cease its military actions across the border. Your future belongs to you. It is in your hands. You have the power, the choice, say what comes next.